Tonight we look at the 1935 Chevy modified stock car on Monster Hobbies. What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in this box? What's in the box? Hello everybody, my name is Trevor Selescu and I'm the owner of Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada. Well, tonight we carry on with our modified stock cars as we open up the lid on this 1935 Chevy Modified by AMT Ertl. So now let's go down to the bench and see what's in the box. Welcome back to the track as we check out the 1935 Chevy Modified. Now let's take a look at what's in the box. So here we have the instruction sheet which I do believe, again, is another copy from the 1970s, judging by the artwork in it. And as you can see in this kit, you get the two-part wheels, which definitely was a AMT 1970s type of thing. Of course, this kit is newer because it's RC2. But every now and again, model companies like to reissue stuff. So here is an exploded view of the frame in this thing which is really neat. And of course there's our engine and everything going in. The rear suspension with a like a six-piece rear axle or even more. <laughs> and then there's our body. Now the body is in three pieces which is interesting to say the least. Now let's look at the decals in this kit. And here they are again. These are beautiful because you get all the different numbers, you get a few different names, you get um, a couple of different cubic inch displacements. Again, this is using a four, 427. And the flames with the number 7 in it, which is also really cool. And the modern AMT Ertl logo from round RC2. And there is our roof of the car, which I'm going to leave in the bag there. And now we have this other bag of parts, which I will take out to show you. And there's our hood with a couple little pieces of something there. I guess we'll find that out in the instructions what those are. And there is our interior tub upside down, the fuel cell, the steering wheel, the wheel backs, battery, and springs. And there, it's quite deep. The driver's sitting in there quite deep. And there is our seat and separate seat sides. And here is the frame for our kit. As you can see, it's quite, quite a lot of roll bar. And you'll need to clean up, scrape the seam lines all the way inside there, which is going to be a real treat. And then, of course, we have our rear axle and our little bumper bars. Then on this tree is our, looks like a Chevy 427, as well as our radiator. It's quite detailed pieces. And last but not least on our stuff we got to paint is the body shell which is very smooth, but of course this is a modified dirt car, so don't expect door handles. <laughs> and then there's our wheels. And the valve covers have the nice MT logo put, punched right into them. And finally, the dreaded Goodyear two-piece tires. Nobody ever liked these things. <laughs> but anyway, there they are in this kit. And that will be the conclusion of our 1935 Chevy Modified by AMT Ertl. We hope you enjoyed that episode of Monster Hobbies What's in the Box, where we got to look at the 1935 Chevy Modified kit. And if you would like to see some of the other cars in our series, please check them out here, here, and here. And don't forget to like and subscribe to us right down here so we can continue making these amazing videos. And until next time, always remember to 
do stuff with your car. And until then, we'll see ya.